In this tutorial for Stellar, we're going to be looking at how to set up a project and a scene and get the app started. Stellar is comprised of several different container files, one of them being projects. A project is an overall file that contains many scenes, fixtures, groups, and many other items. You could create as many projects as you want just by pressing the blue button at the bottom of the screen. Pressing the blue plus button will bring up a project title which you could enter. This could be the title of the movie that you're working on, a television show, or whatever it might be. Today we're going to just enter Stellar as the project title and click the OK button. This creates a new project and brings me to the scenes window. As I mentioned, projects can hold many different scenes. Right now I'm just going to create one by pressing the blue plus button at the bottom of the screen, which brings up a dialog box so I can enter in my scene name and my scene location. I'm going to enter in a simple name like scene 1A and the location is going to be Airy Studio. I'll click the OK button and that'll create a new scene. The app will immediately launch into finding Artnet nodes on your network. Right now it's found two, an Airy Skylink base station and an S60C which is acting as an Artnet node. The app will go through a process of discovering all fixtures attached to any of these nodes. As you can see, the app immediately found eight different fixtures, including L-series fixtures and SkyPanel fixtures. All I have to do to add them to my scene is press the blue done button at the bottom of the screen. An automatic pop-up will come that says, do you want to enable auto layout? Auto layout is a great feature that will take care of all of your DMX addressing and mode selection in the background. You'll never have to enter in a DMX address or a DMX mode ever again. So I'm just going to click the OK button here and that'll bring me into my main screen where I can adjust different color parameters for any of the fixtures. Let's go back to the scene setup by pressing the scene setup button in the bottom left hand corner. Here I could see all of the fixtures that are attached to this particular scene and I could do lots of different things to customize how the scene will work. For example, I could tap on the three dots icon on the S360C and I could rename this. So maybe I want the name to be a little bit shorter. I'll get rid of the sky panel in front of it and I'll name this S360C Top Light. Hit the OK button and now that fixture is renamed. I might also want to group some fixtures. So I could select two L7s that I have in the scene by clicking the check boxes to the left of the L7 card. And then I could hit the group button at the top center of the page which will bring up this dialog box. I could then select a color code for this particular group and name it. I'm going to name this one Backlights. And now it's created that group. I could go through and name all of these different fixtures. I could also identify a fixture by pressing the light bulb icon on the right side of a fixture card. This will cause the fixture to flash blue and let me know which fixture I'm adjusting. I could adjust the settings of any fixture by checking the box on the left hand side and pressing the settings button on the top of the screen. This will bring up all information about that particular fixture including settings that I could adjust. Everything from DMX parameters to fan modes to special modes inside of that fixture. After I'm done adjusting some settings, I can press the done button and it'll bring me out to the scene setup window. In the scene setup window, I have other options. For example, I could press the rescan button to check if any fixtures have been added to my network. I could also remove fixtures from the scene, search for particular fixtures, or sort the fixtures in any way that I'd like. If you already have an existing DMX network and you don't want the app to change any DMX addresses, you could turn auto layout off. Let's take a look at that by creating a new scene with the same fixtures, but a different name. The app will again rediscover the fixtures connected to the network. Now that the discovery process is complete, I could hit the Done button and it'll bring up my automatic layout dialog box. I'm going to turn Auto Layout off this time and hit the OK button. And now I can adjust DMX addresses and modes in any way that I'd like. The app will automatically protect against DMX overlapping of fixtures. For example, you could see that the SkyPanel S60 in the top right corner is using DMX address 23 through 48. Two spots below that, you could see that the S30 is using DMX addresses 7 through 16. If I go into the S30 and change the DMX address to purposefully overlap the S60, the app will do a search and find that there's an error here. 
It says that the Sky Panel S60 is colliding with the S30. It would also give you a solution to resolve this issue so that you don't have any overlapping fixtures. Of course, you could choose to ignore this if you'd like, but I'm going to choose to resolve the issue and make sure that there are no addresses that are overlapping. This concludes this tutorial on how to set up Stellar for the first time. Join us for the next video where we will be discussing how to change color and settings of all the fixtures attached to any scene. Thanks for joining us.